Hey guys, Big Swear, Road to Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Trump uh, Manafort slash Mueller slash investigation slash special prosecutor, all that stuff, where it is right now and where it is, I believe, where it's headed. Now remember, Trump has all the dirt on these guys. He has the dirt on Mueller. He's got the dirt on Comey. He's got the dirt on the Bush family. He's got the dirt on the Clintons. At any moment, he can uh, release all kinds of information. And this came from the good guys who are behind the scenes. So uh, I'm not worried for Trump getting uh, you know kicked out of office. At any point, he can release it. And I believe he will at some point. Um, I think this the latest flurry of the, the Clinton slash Uranium One slash uh, the Clinton Global Initiative information that came out over the last week was all a prelude because this was coming out. So it, it gave uh, Trump something to talk about, but he could release the evidence. He could release evidence of pedophilia if he wanted to. He could release evidence of selling, literally selling our, our secrets to... Russia, and not just the uranium, but a lot more. And the Clintons, when Clinton, Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State, everything was for sale, and she sold a lot of it to Saudi Arabia. There's talk that there are videotapes of her with Saudi Arabian princesses, princes, absolutely breaking every law known to man, and laughing about it. And that is something that the New York City police have, and they got from Anthony Weiner's laptop. Um, along with a lot, much more, much more very disturbing things um, from uh, everything from the Lolita Express, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, airplane videos, and to the, the pedophile island where both Trump, I mean, <laughs> Hillary and uh, Bill have been. I don't know if Trump, again, I don't know if Trump has been there, but all kinds of brownstoning was going on. Um, and Remember, the NSA has is spying on every person in the United States, every single videotape, phone conversation. You can just be sitting there with your TV on and they're listening to you and recording it and putting it in their storage. And when they need it, they'll pull it out. So, yes, they, they were wiretapping Hillary Clinton and John Podesta and Bushes and Mueller and Trump, and they do it to everybody. And hopefully the good guys have control of that situation and can use it to uh, free our country from the criminals and then shut it off, if you ask me. Anyway, Trump's response was a couple tweets, of course. President Trump has responded directly to the charges filed against former campaign manager Manafort by special counsel, counsel Mueller. Quote, sorry for this, but this is years ago, before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign, but why aren't Cricket Hillary and the Democrats in focus, Trump tweeted. Also, there is no collusion. There you go. And that's what Trump has tweeted. That said, Bloomberg has already pointed out that President Trump claimed that the charges predated the campaign are false. Special counsel Mueller's indictment out alleges that Manafort and another former Trump campaign aide, Rick Gates, engaged in schemes to defraud banks and U.S. government and the U.S. government from 2008 to 2017, Manafort joined Trump's campaign in March 2016 and resigned in August 2016. Three of the criminal counts charged against Manafort and Gates cover activities through 2017, and another count includes activities to 2016, according to the 12-count indictment. So, yeah, Manafort was hiding money and uh, working with the opposition. of He was not a good guy. Trump should have never picked him, if you ask me. But he was also fighting against the deep state, but he did it criminally. He was lying in his pockets as well, it looks like. Um, but it, as you can see, he was campaign manager from March to August of 2016. March, April, May, June, July, August, six months. Um, and there's no collusion with, with Trump. Um, and you can, if you look at the indictment, this is the, the indictment on CNN, of course. It's like jumping up and down. This is it. Proof of collusion. Uh, there's no proof of collusion at all. It's, it's mainly tax stuff uh, if, you, if you read through all these indictment charges. He was taking money and not reporting it and trying to evade taxes. 
which, you know, let's look at the, the Clinton Foundation and, and how they spun out their uh, donations into their own pocket. Uh, the first and time defendants, Paul Manafort and Richard Gates, served for years as political consultants and lobbyists. Between at least 2006 and 2015, Manafort and Gates acted as unregistered agents of the government of Ukraine, the party of regions. That's the, the, the government of the Ukraine that uh, Obama... Uh, and and crowd um, forcefully removed from power, as was seen in uh, in some of the uh, the taped video uh, phone conversations of Obama people. I forgot her name, but she's saying that uh, uh, f the EU is what she said. We're going to install our own um, our own leader in the Ukraine. <laughs> classic, classic America. You got to read through the latest JFK papers that talk all about the United States getting involved in everybody's election and every and and assassinating leaders and planning to assassinate leaders. Uh, just read John Perkins's book, uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman. You'll understand that our government is lying to us every single day and killing people in our name. That's how bad it is. Uh, Manafort and Gates generated tens of millions of dollars in income as the ro- result of their Ukraine work. In order to hide Ukraine payments from the United States authorities from approximately 2006 through 2016, Manafort and Gates laundered the money through scores of United States and foreign corporations, partnerships, and bank accounts. That's The majority of this is that, is money laundering and fraud. And, and long before, Trump wasn't even involved, probably didn't even know anything about it, or he wouldn't have put him as head of, the, head of his uh, campaign. In furtherance of the scheme, Manafort and Gates funneled millions of dollars in payments into foreign nominee companies and bank accounts, opened by them and their accomplices in nominee names and in various foreign countries such as Cyprus, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines and the Scalies. You know that everybody does this. Every, I, I'll guarantee you that Mueller does this as well as Comey, and we already know the Clintons do this. So this is nothing new for people high up. They all hide money in offshore accounts. That's why the offshore accounts are there. Uh, no, it's not legal and it should have been uh, should have been reported, but none of these people reported. Just read the Panama Papers. Uh, Manafort and Gates hid the extent of their foreign companies and bank accounts. Uh, further of the scheme, Manafort and Gates concealed from the U.S. their work as agents of and millions of dollars in payments from the Ukraine and its political party and leaders. Because Manafort and Gates, among other things, directed a campaign to lobby the United States officials on behalf of the government of the Ukraine, President of the Ukraine, the Ukrainian pl- political party. They were required by law to report to the United States their work and fees. Uh, what about uh, John Podesta's brother? Did the exact Tony Podesta did the exact same thing with Russia directly? But uh, no, uh, Mueller's not going to look at that. <laughs> In furtherance of this scheme, Manafort used his hidden overseas wealth to enjoy a lavish lifestyle in the United States without paying taxes on that income. Manafort, without reporting the income to his tax preparer or the United States, spent millions of dollars on luxury goods and services for himself and his extended family through payments wired from offshore nominee accounts to U.S. vendors. Manafort also used these offshore accounts to purchase million-dollar properties in the United States. He took loans on this collateral, hereby obtaining the cash. I'm, I'm surprised it doesn't say he was into Bitcoin. <laughs> Gates and Manafort in obtaining money from these offshore accounts, which he was instrumental in opening, like Manafort and Gates, used money off these offshore accounts to pay for personal expenses. In total, more than $75 million flowed through the offshore accounts. Manafort laundered more than $18 million, which was used by him to buy property goods and services in the United States. And then it goes through all the relevant individuals. Now, all this stuff has got nothing to do with uh, Trump. So, you know, maybe this is leading up to something bigger that he did for Trump. And, you know, whether or not Trump knew about what was going on, he clearly fired him after six months. So uh, I think at the point he knew that uh, there was a lot of dirt in the closet, skeletons in the closet of Manafort, he pulled the plug on that. Uh, you can read this, the whole indictment. A uh, lot of people involved in this criminality. Um, if you look up, you know, but that's for all of them. You know, how many how many accounts does Gates have, and Mueller or uh, does Mueller have? 
and Comey have and the Clintons have in offshore accounts. Uh, I'm hearing it's in the billions, if not trillions of dollars. And yes, you do need all these offshore you know, companies to, to commit your crimes with you. If there was any investigation into the Clinton charity, that's where the Clintons confiscated all their money and hid it in offshore accounts. Um, so more to, more to come on this stuff, but right now I think uh, if we're, the, the idea is for Mueller to get some dirt on the campaign people and then somehow get Trump to say something that is uh, not true, just like Clinton did about Lewinsky when they were investigating him. That's the whole idea. And you know whether or not uh, Mueller will be in office in this position long enough uh, before the the counts the indictments come down on him and Comey and the Clintons I don't know but that's uh, the literally the royal straight flush that Trump holds right now is that at any time the good guys can lay down unbelievably incriminating charges including video audio tapes you name it um, about even a little bit of the criminality. Um, but, you know, if we really get into the, the Clinton body count, it's well over 100 now. People who work directly for the Clintons who died of mysterious causes. Um, Seth Rich, the, the DNC um, head of computer uh, support for the DNC was murdered uh, just when it came out that the, uh, John Podesta said, we got to teach somebody a lesson in his emails. Um, so yes, much more to come. Um, how do I think this will shake out? Uh, Mueller has no plans on going anywhere. Uh, I, I think he plans to stay in office, a, a huge thorn in the Trump administration side for probably until he gets either uh, kicked out because of his bad deeds or they just shut it all down. Uh, and But he, he plans to go nowhere. Uh, that's part of the battle. They're fighting all all sides. And uh, don't forget, November 4th is the Antifa riots, <laughs> I mean rallies, around the United States. Uh, the George Soros folks are trying to put together some big nationwide uh, um, rally to coincide with the, these charges against uh, Trump people. And I expect violence all over the United States, thanks to George Soros and the Antifa people. So beware of that as well. I will get to the cryptos and silver in a little bit and post a video on that because there's a lot of exciting things going on there. Um, and it is really the calm before the storm when it comes to that stuff. So this is Bix Weir, RoadToRoad.com. I'll talk to you later.